Nvidia has made a rather disappointing confirmation of the presence of a bug in its G-Sync implementation for high refresh rate displays, causing the power draw and heat output of its cars to skyrocket. Now, as disappointing as this news is, at least they're being frank about it and have said that a fix is incoming. Now, of course, as we all know, G-Sync is designed to put an end to stutter and screen tearing in both watching video and other media, and gaming, of course, as well. It has a dedicated control module, module rather, built into compatible monitors, and basically varies the physical refresh rate of the display to precisely match that of the incoming signal. Now, it's also been used as a great selling point for their more high-end GPUs, but has of course hit this rather large roadblock of a massive and unexpected increase in power draw. And let's not forget that the heat output is not exactly good for these cards either. Now, this problem was actually first spotted by the guys over at PC Perspective, or PCPer.com, and basically put a... GeForce GTX with a high refresh rate on a G-Sync compatible display. In this case, it was a Asus with 165Hz refresh rate. The power draw jumped dramatically. And this issue stemmed from one thing, the dynamic clock speed feature of the card. At refresh rates of up to 120Hz, the maximum early G-Sync displays could support, the clock would stay about 135MHz and the system power draw about 76 watts. Above this though, suddenly the clock speed jumps massively to 885 MHz and the power draw up to 201 watts at the top 165 MHz setting, even when the system was just at desktop doing absolutely nothing. Now what did Nvidia themselves have to actually say about this? Well, they actually emailed PC Perspectives um, email inbox obviously and said, quote, you were right, the new monitor or you exposed a bug in the way our GPU is managing clocks for G-Sync and very high refresh rates. As a result of your findings, we are fixing the bug which will lower the operating point of our GPUs back to the same power level for other displays. We'll have this fixed in an upcoming driver. Sadly, they have yet to offer a release date for this particular driver, but at least PC Perspective Investigations alerted NVIDIA to this particular bug. Obviously, this is something that just didn't happen in testing. Um, and they're working on it. So if you have noted this yourself with any G-Sync display plus high refresh rate, have no fear, they are working on it. And for now, well, just keep an eye on things, I suppose, because running at super that particular clock speed and high temperatures, not to mention the power draw, will definitely not be good for your GPU. So do keep your eyes peeled for any dodginess going on on your system. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.